Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you for taking the time to support the channel. My name's Hello Good Game, your host within this Magic the Gathering Arena deck guide video, showcasing a 71% win rate, free to play. We're talking zero rares, zero mythics, fully artisan format capable gruel aggro deck. Artisan, if you don't know, is just a format within Magic the Gathering that consists of deck lists that don't have any rares or mythics within them, right? Also known to me as a free-to-play deck within Magic the Gathering Arena. So I'm very much looking forward to showcasing this to you all today. If you want to help support, like, comment, subscribe, become a community member by joining that Discord. And uh, yeah, just come hang out, say hello, introduce yourself, and uh, looking forward to meeting you. Cheers. We're going to break down the deck list in depth within today's video, discussing the strategies and synergies so you can pilot it effectively, then demonstrating this against the best decks and players in game. We're in Mythic rank today, ladies and gentlemen. Then we're going to wrap up with our final thoughts and deck review. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Like I said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's take a look at the deck. It's a new lap record! Here we are, free to play Gruul. Not a rare, not a mythic, in sight. 60 card standard, best of one. 1.6 average mana value. Woo wee! This is a quick one. 18 land to support that more aggressive curve. We are building around haste, trample, and double strike with the new card, Ruby Daring Tracker. A two mana, one, two with haste. And whenever it attacks, if you control a creature with power four or greater, it's going to get plus two, plus two until the end of turn. So not only does this become a three, four haste attacker, but it also can tap for mana. That is a lot of value, and we'll be uh, rarely utilizing it to spam out, play multiple cards each turn, and overwhelm our opponent. We're also building around the new Picnic Runer for two mana, a 2-2. Two -two. Whenever it attacks while you control a creature with power four or greater, it's going to gain double strike, right? So this and Ruby working in tandem with one another. Stolen goodies at sorcery speed as the adventure for four. Distributing three plus one plus one counters among any number of creatures you control. Um, so this is very good late game value as well. The deck's pretty quick to be, you know, focusing on it as a main synergy, but it's definitely something that we can utilize late game if we haven't already won. Chances are we will have though. <laughs> All right. So, you know, that's kind of where we're going there. Uh, of course, with the double strike, we also would like to apply trample. This comes in a few forms. The first is Audacity for one mana enchant creature. It gets plus two, plus zero, and Trample. And whenever it is put into the graveyard, draw a card. The replacement of the Audacity is very, very nice. Furthermore, and a little bit better for the fact that it is at instant speed, the Audacity is an enchantment, so we're only playing that on our main phases at sorcery speed. The Rage for one at instant. It's going to give a creature plus two, plus O oh until the end of turn, and a monster roll token attached to it. Uh, permanently, as long as it is equipped, uh, as it is an enchantment or an aura, it's going to get plus one, plus one, and trample, which is the name of the game. Uh, getting to power four, assigning trample, and hopefully getting double strike as well, right? Okay. Once we do accumulate double strike, um, like I said, we want to go to the moon with it. So we're going to be utilizing something like Titanic Growth. Two mana instant speed. Target creature gets plus four, plus four until the end of turn. This is no joke. Um, beautiful. Uh, in a similar function, Tyvar stand for one mana plus X at instant speed. Target creature you control gets plus X plus X until the end of turn and hexproof as well as indestructible. BEA beautiful. Um, this can increase your damage output while simultaneously protecting your creature from removal, keeping it in play. And then it's just a lot of uh, goodies that you would typically assume to be in a Gruul aggro deck. We have four copies of Kumano faces Kaxan, one mana, an enchantment when it enters play, one damage to each opponent and planeswalker they control. Then your next creature enters with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. And finally, exile and transform it into the etching, a 2-2 with haste. And if something would die from damage uh, that you control, it's going to be exiled instead, which is great. Thank you for the follow of the Swift Spear. Uh, really capitalizing on everything we have in the deck. Much of it is non-creature, triggering its prowess as a 1-2 for one with haste as well. I'm sure you've seen this uh, in the more aggressive decks using Monstrous Rage on the Swift Spear. It is ungodly. Um, and, you know, we're doing that as a worst case scenario, but definitely trying to hone in on that double strike. 
The Phoenix check here as a one mana one one with flying haste can't block. And whenever you attack with three more creatures, you may pay two if it's in your grave to bring it back. Tapped and attacking with a plus one plus one counter on it. Very, very nice. The Evolving Daptive, four copies here for one green mana as a zero, zero. However, it's going to enter the battlefield with an oil counter on it, and its power and toughness are equal to the number of oil counters that it has. Furthermore, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it has either greater power or toughness than the number of oil counters the Adaptive has, you're going to accumulate an additional oil counter. It's going to grow. This is a one mana, two, two, three, three, and potentially four, four in the deck. So very, very nice here. The Yavimaya Iconoclast for two. It's a 3-2 kicker for one, so you can pay three if you do. Uh, it's going to get a plus one, plus one, and trample until the end of turn, which is great. Plus, it organically has trample. Three copies of the Witch Stalker Frenzy for four. It's an instant speed, costing one less for each attacking creature. And, uh, of course, it will deal five damage to target creature. This is really nice as uh, they're going to be blocking. We have trample, uh, double strike, and we can not only remove their creature, protect ours, but again, like Tyvar Stan, simultaneously increase our damage output because that trample is now not needing to deal with that creature. If it was assigned as a blocker, it just goes straight through to your opponent as a surprise, which is always a lot of fun. So that is the deck in its entirety. I hope you enjoyed. Of course, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, join the community discord, and let's play some magic. Again, today we are in Mythic rank with an artisan, free to play gruel build. I hope you all enjoy. Let's go. All right, looking for better land here. Oh. Pretending I'm mono red. Ouch. I mean, how do you not do that just with your opener, though? It's kind of sad, but and unless we top deck a land and we just threw a land. Uh. Guy, the life game's really gonna toss us back. Hit for one. We're going too slow here. That life gain is B a brutal burrow. Hopefully it's a cut down. Where are the cards, though? You know, we didn't get there. We'd be a lot closer without that three life they gained. Oof. Could be a wandering emperor. It's pretty good. Counterspell? Okay. For seven? No way. That would be lethal without the life gain, baby. No way, homie. No shot. Up to four. Yes, 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 yes. Opponent goes first. Let's keep seven. Right, um, should be fine. Secondary red line off the top is great. They're gonna dunk on it, so let's play two. Just is what it is. I don't want to get, feed them in audacity. Oh! Okay. 
someone. Probably just picnic ruin this turn. That's why it's hard to pick this target while well, they've got uh, mana ready. This is quite nice as long as we don't walk into removal. Counterspell. No land to take advantage of an audacity either. Kind of sad, but it's okay. Down to 11. You know, this is top of the line control deck here, so it's... Do your best. You're free to play deck, you know, like... Good luck. You're probably not going to get it, but if you do, congratulations. You're killing it. And it is a possibility, as we see here. It lands. No way. So it's not a cut down. Double strike out. Get absolutely wrecked, homie. And if you get it, good for you. That's absolutely amazing. We do here. Brutal, dude. It's like a $20 deck versus a $300 deck. <laughs> this is sadly a mulligan. This is a keep. I just like one mountain, one forest, and then... The rest is in the shuffler's hand. Isn't it always? Oh, yeah. Mm. Ooh. Get delved out, bro. Time for another red source, probably. That's not bad, though. If it were, it could just be counter magic, I guess, right? So, feed it to the wolves. I mean, why wouldn't it be? I certainly would counter it. Okay. It's in the air. Tempo time. Surveilling, grabbing a card. I mean, you have the protection. Give it double strike beforehand. And then we don't interact unless they do. It's 12 damage. It's it's enough. If they have a one drop. We could be in trouble if they have a second. If not, we're just adding fuel to the fire. Oh my lord. And it also triggers the prowess on the Swiss Spirit. <laughs> the gin is good. The gin is good. I'm going to push up the spear ahead of time. I mean, Mono Blue could still beat us at any time, right? Double strike in the house. What you got, Willis? What you got? What are you doing over there? Impulse Adelphia, we're good to go. Mmm. 
delicious. It's fairly ungodly how well we're doing with this deck. Like, it's performing. Oh my gosh. LOL. <laughs> Community member matchup. This is always fun. Let's roll a mulligan or two. Oh, no way. What? Oh, man. What trash land. I don't know, like, if there's even much point to this. And of course we draw land off the top. Why wouldn't we? Uh, if we just believe... No, no, no. Play, 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 play. Just fucking whoop me, homie. Send me to the fryer. I try my best. I don't think it's gonna be good enough. Uh oh. Nice land off the top. Well, I mean, wherever it comes from. Nice. That's pretty good. Another land, right? I think uh, Kodama is underrepresented right now. Very, very nice land round. Well, I mean, we'll be playing. Good game. Well, that didn't work. That was some brutal mulligans, though. The land off the start. What the... Opponent goes first, blatantly cheating in front of everyone. You know, everybody knows the creators go first. Come on. At least the videos they publish. Stop it. <laughs> What's that, uh, the puppet meme? <laughs> the eyes, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hello, good game. Ready to rumble, homie? Ready to throw down, bruh? Come on. Oh, you're here. It's okay, chat. They're here. They've made it. Oh, filthy rare spammer. This is like a Mordor. You know? That's kind of really the same vibe as that other card. Alright, holding up the protection. No need. Slam in. Might creature again next turn. Protection's important, though. I'd like another forest. Let's just Ash catch him. Right. Okay. Level 13. We have another. If we can draw land, it's going to get much better for us. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello! 
Should we just dunk on it? Or say who cares? Ah, who cares? Goodness gracious. We could dunk on it if they don't block. I think I might. Why wouldn't I? Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, well, I mean, this is even better. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> well. I do like pie decks, so it's hard to, like, thrash on them. But bruh. But bruh. X equals four. We can actually kill it. And then X equals three and get more value. <laughs> right, it's cheaper this way. And we get a double trigger. Oh my god. Have mercy, homie. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh my god. You gotta stop it, bro. You gotta stop it, homie. All right, going first with three land, both colors. Turn one, turn two looks great. Um, no protection though, right? Like, Tyvar stand here would be a little bit better, but we'll see. And maybe we uh, get some good value off the top as well, right? The removal, we don't, well, maybe we do. <gasps> no removal? I think we're, I'm just gonna go for it. Well, I'm not sure we could do both. Yeah, I mean, there's no need to slow down our damage output. It's not like we have anything else we're playing next turn, so let's just cast that next turn. This makes a 1-1. One, one. I do want to get it out. The damage is just transferred over, right? Still two extra damage. Um, so that's fine. Give her seven to 12. Ruby gets a power up next turn from etching as well. Removal on etching itself. Ouch, we do get a draw though. And a land. Take forest. That was a good removal. Oh, that sucks. Thinning the library of land. I mean, there's only 18 in there, so I mean, it's a big difference percent wise on that land draw. Right. <laughs> Dang it. Down to nine. You know. We got removal. It's okay. And the chance to draw land is going down by 2% each turn. Well, each draw. We don't have a lot of draw in the deck, though, so. You're running double endures? You're an absolute chat. I'm impressed. Yeah. You're going to love it. Okay? You're going to love it. Oh, Come 
lines of hexproof and vigilance. Be swift. We haven't much time. The hexproof is uh, My voice almost as frustrating as the vigilance. Worlds. I don't know why they, it's vigilance, bro. You could attack with that. <laughs> what do I know, though, huh? Yes, they take the bait. I take the prowess. It's not much. It's something, Bill. Hit for four. Replay Ruby. I'm trying to grind it out. I don't know. I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's one of those. The cauldron. Okay. We might be in trouble. They might just bring out the land. I wonder if they have another land. No. Is it, I don't think it untaps. So they'd have to play a land to animate it. Which they have not played this turn. I love the land art, by the way. Yeah, it's, it still taps though. Please, buy us more time. We're on such thin ice here. It's not even funny. Monsters roll would have been really cool, and but you don't always get the top deck, right? Sometimes uh, it's a land or a useless one drop. <laughs> They could combo out, I think, this turn? Oh my gosh. Plus the defender. We literally need a monstrous roll. Monstrous rage, which creates the monstrous roll. I'm never going to get it right. Off the top! We could take them to three. Eighteen lands in deck. I have six in play. Is this the algorithm? That's absurd, homie. Oh my god. Go down to 17. Never see a land again. <laughs> I have more lands here than I do in my 24 land decks. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, access to the grave with the emblem of Ren. I'm sure that's fine. Tapping, untapping, going wild with the cauldron. All right, fill in that grave, homie. Walkers galore. I think they can play a land, right? At least bring one out. One, two, three, four, five walkers. Big money, no whammies. Hey, that's a little money. Little money, little money. Let's go down to three. Let's go. Kaplowy. No attack. We did miss one damage earlier. We could have taken it when they only had uh, a few blockers. I hope that doesn't burn us. This is the combo decks dreamland. We're like, okay, I can do it. And I think they're going to get it. I 
Maybe it's not till next turn they get it. Because the Kami still has summoning sickness, right? Well, unless they give it haste. That's so funny. That's so funny, dude. Nice play. That's very heads up. Does it not have haste? Why is it still have summoning sickness? Oh, it doesn't gain haste, just the other ability to tap for mana. It just still can't do this turn. I, must I thought it would gain haste and then could do the the loop de loop. I have no trample. Cry, I have no trample on board. If we had trample, this would be money, dude. If only we had trample. Ah, oh, This doesn't gain it, does it? No. No shot, homie. No shot. Why wasn't that a lightning bolt? Or lightning strike, whatever. You know what I mean. I, I guess they're both cards, but... They have more Seed of Hope, which is Life Gain also, keep in mind. So, you know, I think we stay in there until we see Life Gain, at which point we can bail. But I think they are going infinite this turn too, though, aren't they? So it's irrelevant. Alderna go. Kami taps for a billion mana. I mean, I just need Trample. Because they're not going to block correctly. And if I can pick Trample at instant speed and then buff up, they're done. It's roulette at that point. Especially if I get to pick Trample at instant speed. Right? So if we can get a, a monstrous rage off the top, I think we could still win. Well, don't force me to use the protection now. That would suck. Yeah. It's all yours. I mean, it's not like she has trample. Oh. <laughs> nice, homie. Nice, nice, nice. It's not like the Swift Spear has trample. A good target for trample, though. Right? Believe. Believe. Instant speed trample off the top. Or even just a yami, yami coast. Yavi Maya, homie. Believe, baby. I don't see any reach. Flyers are tapped. Oh, no. It's untapped for two, isn't it? And I have no trample. Oh, it's on tap for two. Dang it.
they can immediately replay it from the grave. So just bait. Yeah, we're going to bring it back. And hopefully they're tapped out. But I don't think we're surviving another turn. Right, we'll just attack, bring it back with a counter. But we, like, how, what are the chances they tap out? Almost zero. Hundred percent chance they tap out because they hate winning. Nature has not abandoned. Okay. Me. <laughs> That's unique. Glad I stuck around. Oh. <laughs> oh. No one told me about this. No one told me they'd take it. Forgot about the, the cauldron taking my cards. I mean, I am very bored at this point. I quit paying attention so long ago. Can we just top deck this shit? All I need is a monstrous rage. We don't run lightning strike in this deck. Thanks for the follow. Taking quite a bit of damage here. Oh, I should have blocked with the other creatures because now they can recast those. Fuck my life. I'm cat. I hate winning. I hate winning, chat. It actually doesn't change much. Right. 2 2 to 1 1 is fine. They don't grow that much. No, and then they just win. We're just slamming. It was a good game. I mean, we tried to get it. We did not. There's no trample. There's so much of it in the deck, we just didn't uh, connect with it. Triple block, we leave. Just take the two damage, shoot. We're gonna, gonna give him a good game. It, it was great. And we'll show them what we had. On the stack, X equals zero. Confirm zero. Just so they see. You don't put it up on the stack. Like, oh, that's what they had, right? Because you're always so curious. Like, oh, what was that card, right? So, great game. Oh my gosh. Free to play Gruul aggro working far better uh, than I ever expected. No joke. No joke. Check this out. Uh, we're talking a 71% win rate. Oh my lord. I think that's as good as you're going to get, in all honesty. How could we improve it if we're not a free-to-play individual? Well, still keep it. There are artisan events in-game, right, in which you can utilize this deck. Of course, you know, I did have some other ideas while building I would love your feedback on. This is within the free-to-play wheelhouse. We'll also discuss 
potential upgrades to the deck if you are looking. The Cabaretti Initiate. Um, double strike for three. Doesn't seem that bad. You know, we could power it up and double strike it. Maybe, maybe, maybe food for thought. You know, it was this or the adaptive. I did fall in the adaptive because it gains that value without having to pay for it, potentially, right? It is a bit of a trade-off. The Ginger Brute literally could go in the deck. I, I have no problem with this being in the deck. It's colorless, which really helps our mana. Antagonize is a bad version of Titanic Growth. We decided just to help um, even out the the mana as much as we can to a 50-50 green-red split. Uh, and that was not only because growth is better, but, uh, you know, because that mana, um, you know, it's nice to be 50-50 if we can in a dual color deck. Just make things consistent. Um, and then the Red Tooth Vanguard, uh, a two mana trample that can be brought back from the grave. We only really have uh, faces or Kumano. So, you know, it may be not working great here, but we did think about it. If we wanted to increase the curve, right? Have a little bit less of an aggro effect, a bit more mid-range is still crazy aggro, but Rampaging Geoderm for four, three, three, trample haste. Uh, it's going to give another attacking creature plus one, plus one. If it's attacking in battle, it gets a counter. No battles here, but a plus one, plus one to our double strike creature, right? It itself could be a four, four triggering that double strike, triggering Ruby. So, you know, honestly, this could probably go in the deck as well. Uh, it's just a matter of making it fit. Extend the curve out a little bit. That shouldn't be a problem. You know, you could potentially drop the Phoenix chick, maybe. Food for thought. Now let's talk about some upgrades that you can make. And first and foremost, it's always going to be the lands. It always was, always will be. Uh, Crucible of Defiance, get that. Who endures, get that. They're so good. The additional value that they put in your deck is very much noticeable. The Gorge, uh, a quick land, great. The Forest, a pain slash damage land great the veil is a slow land three or later maybe not so much because it is such an aggressive low to the ground deck but i just wanted to mention it as well for a potential upgrade if you are going to extend that curve out right um which by all means definitely get on that other upgrades to the deck that we could talk about samet visor uh visor 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 vizier my lord uh of neck tamon just don't even try HGG. It's a three mana, two, three with first strike vigilance and haste. And if a creature enters the battlefield this turn and deals combat damage, draw a card, which we are definitely focusing on. We could utilize the beast color. Very, very good within the deck. It's a two, two grows every time you play a creature. When it dies, put those counters somewhere else. Um, the questing druid, basically prowess with red permanently. Plus it is a draw engine as well, which I think could honestly go well in the deck. Um, other upgrades, you know, it's the Devastator, Shivian Devastator, uh, maybe Invasion of Tarkir, Bloated Contaminator, uh, Miglos, all options, right? Like we could go on for days how to upgrade a Gruul deck to make it more aggressive. Um, but at the end of the day, we have other Gruul videos on the video where that's done. Some ideas for you, yes, if you have just a few wild cards. And it's, you know, you see how we're doing it. We're just like, oh, you know, add a good card right? It's, it's a better deck now. <laughs> uh, but at the end of the day, these decks are designed to work within its current environment and list, uh, which is low to the ground, trample, double strike interaction. Um, once we start editing that, it does throw off the balance a little bit. How And that's why I say maybe, you know, check out these other girl videos if you're interested, and then maybe you can meet in the middle ground. But it can be done but it's not as easy as just, oh, I add these, I take apart. You know, it's not always just a one for one. It is a rebalancing of the entire list. So be aware, it's not something that I can easily just, you know, you cut these, you add that. Uh, I wish, and some cards are like that, but it's not going to be like that here, right? Um, maybe Yabi Maya for Samet is an easy flip. But again, keep in mind that this is a legendary, so it's not a straight flip. You could take one or two, cut down a little bit, right? And it is important to curate this ability to manage your deck list based on your collection right because it is easy to do you don't always have to have a perfect matching list right you can adjust card for card that have similar function right fulfilling the same role without hurting your wild card collection 
you know? Okay. Thank you for the follow. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the videos, to the channel, whatever. Uh, join the community Discord. Come yell at me there. It would be a pleasure to meet you. Uh, have a magical day. See you soon in the next. Take care and all that goodness, right?